Here we go, everybody. Let's get going. Oh, I'm going to do voices, by the way. And I have to turn off the overlay, or else we're not going to be able to see anything, unfortunately. But I'm going to do voices. <clears throat> Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. All right, so I'm gonna play a squirrel here. Now play your stoat. Oh, it's shivering! Look at how cute it is. It, sh it knows it's gonna get eaten. Time to get eaten by the stoat. An honorable death. Play the stoat. I played the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence the combat. Ding! Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Psh. A golden tooth. Ding! Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you, I, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Ping! Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. So this is very interesting. You have two decks. Now, something I should warn you about this game. The rules don't stay the same the whole way through. You have to adapt a lot. And you'll understand as we play. But I'm going to tell you, this game fucks with your brain. Okay? And you're going to see how ridiculous it gets. There's a reason that this is my game of the year. Okay? Okay? And you guys know I have fucking great taste in games, okay? It's good. So, what we're gonna do is we need to get a- we need to get a squirrel. So we're grabbing a squirrel here. So we're gonna play a squirrel, and now we're going to play a wolf. The wolf demands two sacrifices. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Oh, this is way- this game is way better than Rogue Book. Rogue Book is really good, but this game's better. By, like, a long shot. This game is so good. Rogue Book is very fun, but Rogue Book is not, like, particularly artistically... Okay, it has some good artistry, but this game is something on a totally other level, and you're gonna see. The Wolf. Now we ring the bell. Boom! Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. Let's play the squirrel. Now we attack. Bing! Three damage. Boop, 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 boop. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Pass. A squirrel in hand, or a card from the bush? Whoosh. We got a second wolf. Look, they shiver. Even the wolf shivers. Shh. Bing. Ah, look at that. He caught the teeth. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Ah, yes. Shh. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Get ready for the goosebumps.
two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The adder, the caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Now, I like the cat. I think the cat is op. So we're going to grab the cat here. And you can open the book to check. Behold the rule book. Many lives. They don't get it. Oh, wait till you get... There's other characters I'm going to be voicing. I'm going to be fully voicing this. The adder... Look, but hold on, guys. I need to explain something. You guys look at the cat and you go, it doesn't do any damage. But the adder costs two sacrifices. So... Oh, wait. Oh, thank you, Falgaia. I've told you all my backup career is I want to be a voice actor if I can't make it as a streamer forever. But uh, I think you're going to really like this because I have a lot of voices prepared. And some of the characters in this game are very fun. So get ready. So the adder takes two but has death touch. Or, sorry, touch of death. But I want the cat. So we're going to take the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Now we move forward. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. It will allow you to tip the scales with it. It appears to be a bloody... A, a bloody... What is this tool called? Pliers? Needle nose pliers? Is that what this is? Needle nose pliers? There's normal pliers? Okay. Three is as much as you can carry. So it's really cool. When you step on a backpack, it refills your items, which is really good. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. So now we can see what he's planning. So, uh, so right here, this is what is going to move in next turn. The cards have feelings? Maybe. You'll have to keep watching. Okay, yeah. Need I remind you, these items may help. I'll get there. I'll get a good voice for the stone. <laughs> Squirrel. And now, watch this. We can sacrifice a cat. Or we can sacrifice the squirrel to get the cat out. And now we have a permanent sacrifice on the board. Is this game super trippy? No, this game is super trippy. You're gonna see. This game is fucking super trippy. <laughs> Here we go. There. There's the stoat voice. From now on, this is the stoat's voice. Now what we could do is we could put the river snapper out, which is a two a, a one six, but I don't I think we'll leave the stoat out for right now. Yeah, stoats are assholes IRL, just so you know. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. I'll do meatball voice for one of the characters, but I won't tell you which one yet. So we'll have to see how good we get. So, we could get a wolf out, or we could play a squirrel. Let's use an emergency squirrel. So we're going to use an emergency squirrel, then we're going to sacrifice the cat and the squirrel so that we can get a wolf out. And now we'll see how this goes. I got three damage on the scales, that's good. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your wolf. All right. But as you can tell, flying creatures can still get hit. They just, when they attack, they ignore defenders, but they can still get slapped. So now watch what we can do here. 
we can play a squirrel and then we can sacrifice the cat and the squirrel and the cat never dies so the cat can never die from a sacrifice so now we have two wolves and a stoat out let's do this bam clapped you prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain The young wolf club, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Okay, so now we gotta decide. We have two wolves in our deck already. Do we want a third wolf? A baby wolf would be, it would be thematically fitting for us to do a wolf one. We could take a sparrow. You wanna do a bird? We got a lot of birds. All right, let's take a bird then. We're taking the sparrow. We've chosen the bird. Within your decks, there are two wolves and one baby wolf. The baby wolf will grow into a wolf given enough time. Anyway, <clears throat> you were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Time to sacrifice the cat. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. <laughs> Pick me. Pick me. Choose me for the power. Let's give the stoat the power. Should we give it to the stoat? He really wants it. Do we want to give it to stoat? I wonder. All right, let's give it to stoat. You sure this isn't a mistake? We're gonna help the stoat? All right, we'll help out the stoat. I mean, he's helping us right now, so. <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. Now he's an endlessly sacrificeable stoat. Hey. Undying stoat, uh-oh. Now you get to kill him over and over again. Uh-oh, now we gotta do an elite battle. Oh. Behold my totem! It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Okay, so this is bad. Now we have a flying coyote and a bat we need to deal with. Okay, so let's get a squirrel out first. Here we go. And then we can do... Let's use our other squirrel and let's do... Let's sac let's get the river snapper out. So you'll see right here, the reason why I did this, look at this, the, co the coyote is going to come in and attack and then the river snapper will kill it and still remain on the board. So I think that was a, f a fairly good play. Maybe not perfect, but fairly good. Oh, just you wait. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. <laughs> Let's get this let's get this flying animal out, okay? Boom boom. Okay, we're getting it's getting tight in here. Hold on. I got an idea. All right, we're going to get rid of the sparrow for the wolf. Well, you'll find out. You'll have to find out, Windleby. It appears that I am locked in a game of death. But we'll find out. I don't know for sure. Well, I do, but I'm not going to spoil for y'all. Boing. Okay, so it's getting really tight over here. Uh. Well, we... Okay, so let's do this. There we go. Boom, boom. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! <laughs> Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. <laughs> Back on the board. You're four damage away from winning. Whoa, 
will we be able to do it? Yeah, we should be able to next turn. Okay, let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Ready? Are we fucking ready? Oh, wait, watch this. Wait, we can do this. Watch. We can do a sick play. Stoat sacrificed, but he's got eternal many lives. So we can sacrifice the stoat as much as we want. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. I love that animation where it like cracks the neck of the elite animal. So sick. Impressive. You may survive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. It's this game is very kinetic, yeah. That was a close match. We were really close there. The watchful bulldog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. So this is a very good defensive card, and it's also cheap. The thing is, we have a lot of expensive cards in our deck right now, so we might want to go with the porcupine. Valgaia says, We made the right choice giving Stoat that soul until I'm proven otherwise, I suppose. Listen, this Stoat appreciates your kindness. This man's insane. He doesn't follow any of the rules. Let's go this way. Flyer defense, uh, personally, I find flyer defense medium. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Stoat says, ah. "Should we should we put Stoat in the fire? Do we want to make Stoat even stronger?" Snapper, you want to put Snapper in? Stoat? Warm wolf? Somebody wants a warm wolf. I mean, we have gotten a lot of value out of the wolves. No, do the river snapper? All right, we'll put river snapper in. All right, we're going to do this one. Some people say stoat. I guess we're going to have to do a vote. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, we're doing the vote. Oh, no! Well, all right, we're doing this. We're doing the snapper. It got fucked up. We're doing the snapper. <laughs> you got to put an oar in between. The fire warmed the poor river snapper, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the river snapper away from the fire and left. So now we have a really good snapper. We have a 2-6 snapper, which is really strong. Honestly, if it was me, I would have put it on the, on the sparrow, actually. The sparrow would have been stronger. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Okay, so there's a grizzly over here. That's bad news. This thing is going to do four damage. We have to block the grizzly. So what are we going to block the grizzly with? Well, we can't do the stoat because he'll die and we need him to sacrifice. So what we should do is we should go like this, play the stoat, get the stoat out. This spot? You sure? Yes, I'm very sure. So take a look at this. Now we, now in turn one, we got a porcupine and a stoat out. Remember, the porcupine will block damage and he has sharp quills. Which means, once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. So we'll be able to do some damage to this bear, which is good. Boom. Oh my god. A thorny rebuke. Oof. This is rough. 
But we got a wolf out, which is good. We might be able to actually take him down. Let's try this. We only have three teeth. Shit, I think we're dead. Yeah, he's gonna kill us this turn, we're dead. Wait, actually we might survive one more turn. Let's see. Nope, we died. Fuck. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. What the hell was that? Did you see that hand? Wait, I didn't even see that last time. Did you see the hand creeping over here? Yeah, there was a hand over here. Little figurines. What's this? Ah, I want that knife. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Can't do anything with this right now. I don't know if you can solve any of them the first time you play through, though. Yeah, he said he said not to mess with his stuff, but... I don't know. Yeah, the animations are fucking great. I guess we need to grab this. Bring it here. There, he's tapping right over there. Bing! Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Do we wanna, okay. So now we have to decide what we're gonna do. Yeah, you get, you get two lives each game. You know, if I were a pair of eyes disembodied in an all-encompassing darkness, I'd appreciate it if people didn't blatantly disrespect my ca cabin. You know, me too. Let's do this. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. Look at that. Look at that. It's fucking deer. It's a fucking deer. Trans deer. Trans deer. Trans deer. Look at that. We got it. We finally did it. The grizzly and the cat. I think we should take, well, I think we should take, hmm. We should take a grizzly. But my soul says we should take an elk. So I think we're gonna take the elk just for, because, you know, I'm biased. The arrow, the arrow means, ooh, it's the black goat. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Um, I'll tell, I'll show you what the, what the, um, yeah, yeah, thank you, Koopa Shell, exactly. The grizzly, but look at that. The grizzly isn't way too expensive because now we have a black goat we can use. Mmm. Now we have to pick one of these. Let's take another black goat. A rock may get you out of a hard place. We're gonna take two black goats. Feeling overburdened by enough with the full three items you carried on. Here we go. So this is a boss. Listen closely. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mists descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! It's Twas the Prospector! Hoo -hoo! <laughs> He's 
doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's the key. <laughs> Okay, so the mule, look at this. Wait, the stoat just gave us a, the stoat just gave us a, t a hint. This mule is the key. Pack mule. It moves and it has zero damage in five, but why? Okay, well, let's get the stoat out at least. Okay. Sorry, I gotta do his voice. Okay. Well, we could put a card out right away. Hmm. I don't want to waste my goat. Yeah, the stoat does not trust me. Bing! Ah, look at what the mule has underneath it. Wait, the mule has something underneath it. Look, look, it's got something underneath it. It looks like it has a letter underneath it. Yeah, we might be able to use the elk, but we're gonna need to play another squirrel first. And now we can play a sacrifice. We could put the elk down, or we could put the river snapper down. I think we're gonna put the elk down. Now the elk will move every turn. So what this means is if it can, it will move to the side. Which is very interesting. Fleeing will not save you. Let's get this river snapper out, I guess. Yeah, he's he's a little eager. Maybe we can maybe let's go. We got a handful of birds. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Gold, I've struck gold. Uh, I can't play anything. You're out of space. There's no room for that card. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's play the black. Oh, shit. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a squirrel. Then we're gonna do the black goat. We'll sacrifice the squirrel to get the black goat out, which gives us three sacrifices. Which means we could put the raven down. Which might be good. Let's try it. Now we have a flying bird. Bing! Okay, that's not good. Porcupine. Hmm. Well, our, our raven's gonna die next turn, so we'll have to play, we'll have to figure this out next turn. We've got, we've got almost enough damage. Wait a second, everybody. Wait a minute, look at his health. Wait, 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 everybody look. His health, he's one damage away. Should we use, should we use the pliers? You want to do the pliers, everybody? Pliers. Shall we do it? We can kill him if we use the pliers. Just one damage. Perfect timing. Yay. Ow! Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first one in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. 
a largely unimpressive specimen, the strange larva. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Urayuli. With costs four blood. Gek. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. I'm partial. I'm partial to the strange larva. However, I think the Gek is pretty cute. Do we want to take the Gek? I can see there's a lot of Gek fans. So I think we're going to take the Gek. Yeah, look at it. It's a free card. It is. It's a free card, which is very useful for us. We need sacrifices, so... With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Total misplay. Whoa! The Mantis. I accidentally skipped it. We look at this fucking shit. We this man this Mantis card is so poggers. This has an ability. Bifurcated strike. Like my fucking tongues. A card bearing this sigil will strike each of the opposing spaces to the left and right of the space across from it. Wow. Bullfrog. And a cat. Well, the obvious answer is uh, we obviously have to take the we have to take the 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 mantis. Yeah, we got to take the mantis. We have everything else, and the bullfrog is not that exciting. Oh shit! Look at this. Wait a second. Oh my god. Wait a second. We can sacrifice another card into the mantis or the geck. I wonder what happens if we empower the Gek. What happens if you empower the Gek? I don't know what it gets. I don't know if it's just gonna move. Wanna try it with the Gek? Do we wanna risk it on a Gek? We're gonna sacrifice we're gonna sacrifice the trans deer into the Gek. No? Mantis? I mean the mantis would be up, obviously. I don't know. A moving mantis is powerful. Let's do Gek. Come on, let's do Gek. You want to put the mantis into the Gek? Wait, that's a good idea. Let's put the mantis into the Gek. Yeah! Sacrificing the mantis into the Gek. Here we go. Wow. It's a free bifurcated strike. Genius. Yeah, the, the eyes light up. Now he's got powered birds. Now watch this. See how, look at where the Gek is. The Gek is hidden behind a stump and he can't be damaged right now. The Gek is gonna hit both of these sides without taking any damage himself. Which is very exciting, if you ask me. Personally. Let's do this. Woo! Now can you guys imagine if we empower the Gek further? Yeah, we gotta fu we gotta buff the fuck out of the Gek. Yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta kill that shit. So here we go. Now, oh, this is weird. So here's the thing. Notice, did you notice what happened here? These two enemies tunnel under the water, so now they can't be destroyed. They're gonna keep doing damage, which is very obnoxious. But there's not much we can do about that. So I guess let's just put it here, and then we'll go from there. Killed him. That was easy. Look at that. We cleared that fight easy. That was... Wait, that was a fucking... That was a fucking... Uh, that was a fucking elite fight. Here we go. Something new. <laughs> you were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me, pelts? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. 
They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. So you overkill damage, basically. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? Hmm. We have five points. Let's get us a wolf pelt, huh? We got a wolf pelt. That's all we got. So we didn't have enough teeth, really, to get much except for the wolf pelt. You're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. We don't, we can't buy anymore. You'll need more teeth for that one. Okay. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the road would reward you for them. Weird, huh? Now, we've used two of our items, so we should probably hit the backpack. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Are the teeth your own? Well, when you use this one, it is. Presumably, the teeth are collected from other dead people, but... Personally, I like squirrel in a bottle. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Ooh, the scissors are so good. We gotta get the scissors. Scissors are so good. You can literally just kill any card. It's so fucking busted. And you can use it on most bosses too. Okay, Kingfisher, Kingfisher, Coyote. So this is a flying card that will hide under the water. Whoa, spider! Hey, get out of here. Why is there a spider over there? Get the hell out of here. Oh, it disappeared now. So, this is the problem we have. These guys can't be killed, and they, they're going to keep doing damage. So we need to control the coyote, and we need to do damage in this lane. Hmm? Oh, okay. That's good. That's just weird. We should put the porcupine here, and we should use the- I think we should use the black goat here. Shit. Wait, I forgot about that. Fuck. Okay, uh, next turn we'll use the black goat. Yeah, the thing is, the pelts can, t can block damage, but they can't do much else. I've beaten this game already, so look, I'm really good at card games. I'm- I'm not necessarily making the most optimal decisions right now because I'm- I'm trying to let you all enjoy the story. This is mostly for you guys to enjoy a first-time playthrough, as best as possible. So the coyote blocked it. so we killed the coyote, that's very good. Now we can do something wild, which is, we can get the black goat out, now we can put the wolf out. Now that's going to be sick. The thing is, like, I, I know a lot about... Look, I play card games. I have played... I, I am addicted to card games, okay? I fucking love them. They're great. They're, like, one of my favorite things. Yeah? I, I just fucking love them. So, we don't really have much else we can do here. These are all- this is a submerge card, so there's not much we can do. Am I a big Hearthstone fan? I used to be. I don't really play it anymore. Okay. So, we need another card to play. Oh yeah, the Gek! Yeah, the Gek! That's gonna help us here big time. Fuck yeah. Oh, we might win! Yes! It's fucking fucking kill instantly. That geck is busted. Are we built a busted geck? Fun. Wolf cub. Bullfrog. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. I actually hate this card personally because this card can't block. This card can't block. So, yeah, he looks a little troubled, doesn't he? I sure hope there aren't other troubled animals in the woods. 
Let's do the wolf cub, huh? You wanna do a frog? Let's take a frog. We'll take a frog. Do we wanna make, ooh. Okay, watch this. This is, this is gonna be busted right here. What we're about to do is completely broken. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. <laughs> Pick something else. Pick something else. Do we want to put the Gek in? Do we want to risk the Gek? I'm going to risk the Gek. Let's risk the Gek. Let's do it. Oh! The power of the Gek was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. We dodged it. Now we have a, a Gek that can do four damage in a single turn if we play it correctly. That is so busted, it's unbelievable. Op Gek, Op Gek. Wait, literally we can play this first turn. This is so br busted. Wait a minute, we can win in one turn. Watch this. Wait, we can win in one turn. Hold on. We can win in one turn and with overkill! Watch this shit! Instant win! So busted! Are we gonna win the playthrough on the first run? I don't know what happens if you do this. Does this game have jump scares? No. Not really. It's not that type of horror game. It's atmospheric horror. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. <laughs> Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. So we get to pick one animal. Ooh, what's this one? Rabbit hole. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. So this is a rabbit spawner. That's interesting. Got a raven egg, which will hatch into a raven. We could get a grizzly. Yeah, it's basically a free squirrel. Well, it's, it's a squirrel and a half because you can sacrifice it and you get a rabbit that's free. So this is actually, this is a, it's an expensive card, but it's rather valuable. There's also this beehive. Bees within. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. It does take up a spot to protect you, yeah. What's the difference between the cat and stoat's ability? We sacrificed a cat into the stoat. So the cat has, the stoat has the cat's ability right now. Yeah, maybe we could put this on a turtle. Oh shit, that's actually really good. Wait a minute, the bees within on a turtle would be busted. We should take the beehive and we should try to put it into the turtle at some point. Wow. I think we're gonna do beehive. Can you combine the beehive with something with infinite lives? Yes, you can. Oh. Wolf pelts too. Exquisite. Oh shit! We get empowered cards. I forgot the wolf pelts gets you empowered cards. So we have a moving black goat, an infinitely sacrificed. This one's bad. This card's bad. We have a three blood skunk. We have an airborne mantis, which is op. We have an infinitely sacrificable mole, which is not very good because you want moles to die. We have a wolf cub with one damage with one damage return. Honestly, the mantis is the answer. The mantis or the skunk are the two answers. The skunk has stinky. Stinky. The creature opposing this card loses one power. They're basically stinky cards are super defensive cards. The thing is though, the mantis is so valuable. I feel like it's almost worth taking the mantis. Should we do another mantis card? 
We can definitely afford a one blood card. Double hit is so powerful. Yeah, that's true. They conflict. Let's do this. Let's do the flying mantis. A flying mantis unblockable. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Wow. All right. So. Oh, wait. There's a sacrifice right here. Yeah, the mantises are a very strong card. They're considered, like, one of the more powerful cards. So, wait a second. That means we can sacrifice the beehive, and we can put it into the river snapper. We got our fucking beehive river snapper. Fuck yes. Beehive river snapper. Oh, bzzz. In ridiculous. Oh, boy, but we got a new boss. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks. Appreciate that. It's a zero one card. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Yeah, this track is awesome. So he's got a kingfisher out right here. So we can put a squirrel out. We can put a smoke out. Maybe we can put wolf. Yeah, let's get the wolf right out, huh? Okay, so we got a wolf out. Do some damage early. Which fish? Hard choose. Okay, so what this guy's mechanic is, this guy's mechanic is that he hooks whatever the freshest fish is. So we need to put a fresh fish out that he can hook. Fresher fish, easy choose. So we want him to pull these over and he'll steal them. Hey, that's great to hear, Toast Pup. Yeah. So he snags the, the last played card. Yes, that's correct. So you want to use him to pull... Basically, you have to be very careful and not use many expensive cards against him. Because he can, if he pulls expensive cards, it really sucks. I could have blocked his cards. That's true. Yeah, exactly. So let's do this. Bam. Well, we already knocked him into phase two. Unfortunately, phase two sucks. Too fast, too soon. Okay, he knows. He knows I'm doing too good. What? 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 He's mad at me. He's mad at me being too good at the game. I've never had this happen before. I don't think you're supposed to get to the second boss on your first run through because we did do a new save. Um. Can I? Is there? Uh, uh. 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 Um. Okay. What? Oh, they can block flying! That's bullshit! That's bu fucking bullshit! We just got owned! Fuck you, dude. I'm cutting your grizzly up. Fuck you. We're done. We died. No, no respect for the rules. I told you. I told you. No respect for the rules. Huh. Go fish. The stoat was right. The stoat was right. He doesn't have any respect for the rules. <laughs>